Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to Borderlands, the pre-sequel. Today I've got another weapon chest location guide for you guys and we're going to be looking at every single chest that can be found in the map Crisis Scar. So uh, the first one is towards the middle of the map. Uh, there's Peapot over there for reference and uh, we're going to be jumping off this cliff right into the uh, lava river and landing onto this rock and your first chest is just here on the rock and it's a uh, little doll chest so make sure you pick that up. Here it is on the map for you guys. And uh, it's also worth noting there is a little vault symbol behind uh, that chest, so go around and look for that if you haven't picked that up already. Next, uh, you're going to come out and then run all the way around onto this cliff and head for Red Belly's Arena, which you can now see on the right hand side. But just before you go in there, stick to the left. Uh, there is the chest that we've just picked up, just to show how close it is. So you're going to stick to the left and run along this cliff, and uh, as you drop down, as you can see, there is doll chest number two, small doll chest number two that is. So uh, there it is on the map once again. And uh, next we're going to be heading into Red Belly's Arena, as you can see, here we go, is the start of it. So once you run into Red Belly's Arena, you're just going to stick to the left hand side and uh, head for this room here. And once you come into this room, just before the exit to the room, on the left hand side is uh, small doll chest number three. So uh, map reference once again. Now once you come out of this, you're going to uh, go through this door back to the outside and we're just going to head up onto the left hand side onto uh, this platform here run along it and then head up onto the next one a bit above and along this gangway above the lava at the end is doll chest number four quite a lot of small doll chests in this map unfortunately but they do get better so don't worry so there it is after that we're going to turn to the right and jump over the river and back onto uh, the main arena and then head for this door over here which is on the right hand side as you come in and uh, on, as you turn right, go up some stairs. Instead of going up the stairs, just drop down and there is hidden doll chest number five. There it is on the map for you guys. Now there's one more little doll chest, so, uh, well actually there's two, but there's one more before we get the good chest. So uh, we're going to continue along here, up these stairs, and then just before, in the last room, just before you come out, there is another doll chest on the left hand side so that is all but one of the doll chests the small doll chest now we can start picking up some good ones and uh, there are four of them anyway coming up so uh, as you head out of this building you're going to jump along here and onto this structure turn back on yourselves and then run along and jump onto the roof and uh, there's a quite strange structure just in front of you a bit like a turret and right at the back of that is a moon chest to pick up nicely hidden that one there it is on the map, so make sure you get that one. Get some better loot out of that than the small dial chests. And uh, as you can see, there's also a vault symbol on the left hand side. So you're going to carry on towards Red Belly, and uh, you're going to come to this room here and see that there's a force field. Now, this is pretty easy. You've got to disactivate it. You can follow the cables along. But basically, on the other side, there is a uh, small electrical grid kind of thing. And uh, if you just come to this uh, station here and destroy the fuse box or turn the switch off, it will turn the force field off to that room and you can now get in there and uh, open the chest so uh, there is the second of the moon chests ready to open there we go and uh, just in case you don't know exactly where we are there it is on the map for you guys next you're going to go in and fight red belly once you take him out uh, this is his arena there he is dead look and uh, once he's down or you, you could just run past him you're going to come into this room just here and uh, at the bottom of these two sets of stairs in between is your third of three moon chests so uh, this is the final moon chest here there you go and then uh, if you come up the stairs there is also a moonstone chest now they're slightly different obviously because you have to pay 40 moonstones to open them but uh, there you go anyway that is right next to the moon chest so pretty handy and then finally there is one more chest on this map and unfortunately it is a small dial chest but you're going to come up them stairs anyway as you just saw me and uh, head out onto the outside and we're going to be heading for the roof of Red Belly's Arena and uh, right at the top of the stairs in between these two other sets of stairs is your final small dial chest and this is the final uh, chest of the area so that's it anyway guys that is weapon chest location guide in Crisis Scar hope you guys have enjoyed and uh, let me know if there's any that I've missed as well in the comments and uh, I'll put them in the video so thanks for watching everyone I will see you in the next video